Hey guys, so I just announced on Facebook that I'm gonna be a daddy. That I'm gonna be a daddy. Daddy. And uh, I'm excited about it. Also, terrified. Why? Well, see, I'm 41 now, right? And by now, of course, I was I should be Tom Hanks by now. <laughs> According to my own my own career chart, I should be Tom Hanks, right? And uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna be Tom Hanks. And that's cool. And that's fine. Great. You know, I did put the work in when I was younger for whatever reason. Blah 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 blah. But here's the thing. I went to a like a career fair this week. I was asked, excuse me. I was asked to come to a career fair and be a mentor for people from my college, right? They were like, oh, Bones, you have had success as an actor, as an author, and I know you do a lot of stuff online, which is always mysterious because it's always changing for me. Uh, so, can you come speak to people and give them some advice? Some of your wisdom, right? And I'm going to tell you what this has to do with me being a father soon in a second. But I was there and, you know, it occurred to me that all the kids who were there were kids, first of all. They were like 20, right? 21. They were just graduating from my old college, Skidmore College, right? And there were a few of us there who were actors and who, you know, we kind of know each other because we've done some work around. Um, no Tom Hanks. <laughs> None of us, right? But, and maybe that's why we were there, because we had time to be at the career fair for people. But I was helping people, and I really, I think I was. You know, I was telling people, look, you can't just take more classes on the craft. You have to pay attention to your business side, because that's ultimately what you're trying to do. You're trying to get out of school, and I have a business in your service of being a character. You have a service of of being a character. That's what an actor is. Some people say that it's your product. You're selling your character to other things. Both of those things are right. I love it. It's great. But these are kind of concepts that none of these people had heard. Um, so I was all about making sure I told them. The other thing I was telling them was that, you know, if you've seen any video of mine, you know I've said that I don't really believe in day jobs and waiting tables and all that because I feel like it takes away from your power and takes away from your um, ability and energy to, to do that stuff. So my solution has been to have your own sort of business. Um, one of which for me has been writing books was another one, right? So people wanted to hear about how to be an author and most people were like, oh, I couldn't even ever. And I kept thinking that I keep having these kind of shortcuts to things or not that they're shortcuts, but that they're way simpler than they seem. So writing a book nowadays, nowadays, writing a book and, and getting it out on Amazon is the easy part, frankly. That's the part everybody thinks it's hard. That's the easy part. The hard part is, is continuing to sell it, right? At a profit. Um, so I'm telling these 20-year-olds this and uh, the actors that come up. Those are the things I'm telling the actors. But they sat me at a table for arts um, and communications, arts communications and technology, something like that, which makes sense, right? So one of the people who came up to speak was a graphic designer. She's a graphic designer, she's like, you know, cute, but, and, and kind of like, you know, she can, you can tell she likes to be around computers, she's quiet and super adorable, and I was like, great, let me see what you've done. She was like, well, you know, I'm looking for a job with benefits, you know, they can hire me as a graphic designer, and I was like, what? What year are you born in? 1950? What? That doesn't happen. You know, I try not to hit her over the head with it, but do people hire graphic designers full time? I'm, I'm sure they do, and maybe they do straight out of school, but I was like, you can do that now. Why can't you start being a graphic designer now? I was like, I hate one of the, one of the uh, covers of one of my books. I'll give you 10 bucks to make a new cover for me. She was like, okay. Which is a smart move, right? Because A, she needs, the, she needs a new thing on her, uh, in her portfolio. I need a new book. And no one else was offering any money to do this graphic designer thing. But now she can say, oh, I, wrote, I uh, made a cover for this book for this guy. And so she handed me her resume. And she's like, great, I, I'd love to do that for 10 bucks. Here's my resume. She gave me her resume, which was the plainest looking resume. Like, you had to try to make it 
uninteresting, right? And for a graphic designer, you got to put your best foot forward. Like, that's a place that you can design. Any graphic designers out there with resumes, I hope your resume is really cool. It's got to be designed, right? you got to show me what you can do. So, this is all the wisdom I'm spouting at this career, at this, at this fair, right? It wasn't a fair, what was it called? It was like transitions and career transition stuff. Whatever. Another kid comes up, uh, I wrote them down. It was an actor, graphic designer. Oh, this other woman who wants to, this other girl who wants to be a, um, like a curator at a museum because she likes talking about art. And I was like, great! What are you? What art are you talking about? Well, I'm waiting so I can get a job, so that then I can go. And I was like, "What? Aren't? You, what year were you born in? 1950? Isn't this the YouTube generation? If this is what you want to do, then you should be talking about it on YouTube the way I'm talking to you guys right now. Why is she not talking about some piece of art? You know, on YouTube. That seemed to me like the most obvious thing to do. Not just." for her own business, which is what I, I think ultimately it should be, but like, if you want to get hired, show people you're already doing what they need. I mean, if I were a boss, you know, oh, I could go through resumes and I could interview, or I can find some girl who's already doing exactly what I want online. She's going to win. The person who already has the videos up and like, she's going to win, right? You have to excuse my eyes. I know they're a mess. Some of you know that I have eye things. I just didn't bother putting eye drops in them before I made this video. If you're a casting director, don't look at this video. <laughs> or do. You know what? Do. And, and hire the guy who, who has to put eye drops in. Big deal, right? Um, the other person who came up to me was someone who wanted to be in sports, wanted to be like a sports commentator, or she wanted to talk about sports. And I was like, you, you, hopefully you get it by now. Show me what you're doing now. We're, we live in a world now where you can just go do the thing you want to do. And I'm spouting all this wisdom and ah, ba, 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 ba. And I'm like, oh, I got to remember that my new kid is going to grow up in this world where you can just start doing what you want to do. So, you know, I'm going to start writing books with my kid when, you know, before my kid can read, we're going to start creating books and, and all this. And then I stopped and I said, Bones, you are full of shit, dude. <laughs> you are full of shit. And the reason it occurred to me that I was full of shit is because someone came up to me and they were like, Bones, man, I'm glad you motivated me and you're right, I should be doing this and thanks so much and, and you should be a motivational speaker, you know? And I was like, another career someone thinks I should be doing. And it was like this burden to me. Oh, this burden. People think I'm, I'm good at stuff. Oh, now I, there's something else I have to go do. You know? And it felt like this, oh my God, all they were doing was complimenting me. But to me, it was like, oh God, oh. This other career that I'm obviously not pursuing. You know, I don't feel like I'm this hard-charging acting pursuit guy. I don't feel like I'm this hard-charging author guy. Or this internet guy. I feel like I'm doing everything, just hardly, you know? Um, so I was like, Bones, you are full of shit, dude. Telling everybody they should just go do what they want to start doing, and what are you doing? You're here, because you felt like it. And that was the other part. So why am I telling you all this on the day that I can tell, that I get to tell you that I'm, my wife is pregnant? I had to wait for the 12 weeks, which was impossible. Like, Everybody who saw me face to face found out. <laughs> Super excited about it. I can't wait to love more of my wife. That's how I think about it. It's a, a, new, a new version of my cute baby, and I can't wait to love more of that. Um, so why am I telling you all that on this day? I don't know. It all just happened the same weekend. <laughs> that's, that's the end. So um, the main lesson that I keep saying over and over again is to be the source of what you want in life. So if what you want is for someone to motivate you, to give you information, to uh, give you inspiration, then be that for someone else. And if you are being that for someone else, people will be that for you. So I, being there at this career fair, was helping other people. I was helping other people get this information, motivation, 
and inspiration to go ahead and go forth and give them permission to do what they want to do. And in doing that, hearing myself, I'm giving myself permission. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Someone's texting me. People are texting me congratulations today, which is so exciting, by the way. So exciting. Um, I was terrified at first, and now I'm all, I'm all excited about it. So, I don't get all this from myself. I get, I get inspiration, motivation, and uh, information from all these books here that I'm reading, and not Spock. But there's all the Neil Donald Walsh stuff. People know that I follow Neil Donald Walsh. That whole shelf is him. Uh, this whole shelf down here, this is Robert Kiyosaki. All this stuff is Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. In my opinion, the most important book of the 21st century. Um, what else? Oh, this, this shelf is all acting stuff. This shelf is all acting stuff, and so is this. Uh, the Thriving Artist is right there from my friends, uh, Joe and Christine. And Dallas Traver's books, her stuff is great. Um, what else? We got Star Trek stuff here. That, that inspires me in a completely different way. And um, so, there you have it. That's today's message. That if there's something that you want to be doing, you can already start. Um, another place I get a lot of inspiration from is the Empower Network. And as you guys know, I'm putting together a bunch, uh, a network of people to inspire each other, to be the source for each other and to create income with each other. Um, so, that's it. That's the message. All right. If you like something you heard, please comment, like, let me know you're out there. I don't know why people feel like they, they have to stay hide. I get all these emails, but no one comments on my damn videos. Just comment, please, uh, and share, please, if you got something out of this. If not, then don't. Talk to you soon. Bye.